back with our very last week of extra stories for our virtual school. This one is the very lazy ladybird. This is the story of a very lazy ladybird. She liked to sleep all day. And all night. And because she slept all day and all night, this lazy ladybird didn't know how to fly. One day, the lazy ladybird wanted to sleep somewhere else. But what could she do if she couldn't fly? Then the lazy ladybird had a very good idea. When a kangaroo bounded by, she hopped into her pouch. But the kangaroo liked to jump. I can't sleep in here, cried the lazy ladybird. It's far too bumpy. So when a tiger padded by, she hopped onto his back. Uh oh. But the tiger liked to roar. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too noisy. So when a crocodile swam by, she hopped onto his tail. But the crocodile liked to swish his tail in the water. I can't sleep in here, said the lazy ladybird. I'll fall into the river. So when monkey swung by, she hopped onto her head. But the monkey liked to swing from branch to branch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. I'm feeling dizzy. So when a bear ambled by, she hopped onto his ear. But the bear liked to scratch. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. He'll never sit still. So when a tortoise plodded by, she hopped onto her shell. But the tortoise liked to snooze in the sun. I can't sleep here, said the lazy ladybird. It's far too hot. So when an elephant trundled by, she hopped onto his trunk. At last, thought the lazy ladybird, I've found somebody who doesn't jump or roar or swish his tail or scratch or swing or snooze. But at that very moment, the elephant... Oh, what did the elephant do with his trunk? Sneezed! Achoo! And poor old lazy ladybird had to fly at last. Just to get away and make sure that she could land somewhere. The end. Hope you enjoyed that story. See you again soon. Bye.